Hello everyone, my name is Jordan and welcome back to another episode of the Black Encoding series. Today we're going to be doing something fairly basic. Uh, we're going to be making prefixes and suffixes appear uh, above players' names and in the tab list as well. This is recommended by someone in the YouTube comment section. Uh, and as always, you can recommend your own video ideas in the comment section in the Discord, which will also be linked down below. Um, and, you know, by email, by Twitter, any way you want to contact me. Um, I have a list I keep of all your video ideas, uh, so make sure to send those in, and I will hopefully get to them if I have uh, some general knowledge about how that works. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I just made this one class that extends Java plugin. It has its on enable and on disable. Uh, so let's jump right in. Let's make a, um, a quick bucket task here. So a bucket runnable. Uh, so runnable, actually, we don't need to do it like that. We can just say uh, get server dot get scheduler dot run run task timer I'm going to say this new runnable and then we want to put in a comma zero for delay and 20 for the period which basically means it'll run one time per second you may want to adjust this based upon efficiency and actually I'm going to do that and make it update once every two seconds since it's a something that doesn't be uh, something that is not going to need to run very constantly uh, so let's go ahead and now that this is working let's go ahead and create a scoreboard and so let's go ahead and say scoreboard scoreboard equals get server dot get scoreboard manager dot get main scoreboard. And so we're actually going to say if scoreboard is equal to null, and we're just going to say get server dot get scoreboard manager uh, dot get new scoreboard. And we're going to set scoreboard equal to that. We're also going to say get server dot get scoreboard manager dot set. But we can't set the main scoreboard. Oh, someone commented on a video and said that was possible. Well, we're just going to go ahead and modify this. Um, to use a new scoreboard every cycle, which may be a bit inefficient. You may want to modify it uh, for your own needs. So once we have this new scoreboard created, what we can do is assign teams to it based upon anything we want. So I'm just going to make this really basic and give everyone the same prefix and suffix. Obviously, you would want to make this a little more advanced by looping through uh, certain players and setting them assigned to certain teams. Uh, for now, we're just going to say team. Team is going to be equal to scoreboard.get team, and we're going to make this team name equal to, um, I don't know, just team, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and say team.set prefix, and we're going to say chat color dot red, and plus chat color, whoops, it'd be chat color dot bold, and then chat color dot red, uh, just to make sure the bold effect is applied. And we're just going to go ahead and say, oh, you know what? Um, that's a little strange. I don't know why that's not working. Well, let's go ahead and add a, a space plus two quotation marks to make that work properly little strange there. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and say something like uh, awesome, maybe. And keep in mind, you have to keep this under 16 characters, and that includes the chat colors. I think the chat colors count for two characters, but I could be completely wrong. Uh, so after we're good there, we need to add people to this team. So we're just going to loop through all the players online and then assign them to this team. So get server, get online players. And now we're just going to say team.add entry. Uh, I think player.getName will work just fine. Um, we have to add an entry. We can't do the team.addPlayer uh, because that is deprecated, and you should do this instead. Awesome. So now one last thing. Um, we need to go ahead and set this scoreboard uh, for everyone. And actually, we can just say get main scoreboard to make this um, work without having to um, do more things with scoreboards and uh, set player scoreboards, and that would be pretty inefficient. Um, okay, so I think we're just about done here. Uh, except let's add a prefix as well, just to make this nice and uh, and cool. Or that's actually a suffix. We already have a prefix. Let's add a suffix. Uh, so let's just make this chat color uh, aqua. Oops. And say plus. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to make it. Let's just make this something like meow. Um, and then go ahead and export this plugin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I went ahead and modified this just a little bit because I realized we never actually created our team and then I wanted to change the formatting system just to make my life a little easier. Uh, so we right here check if the team is null, we need to, need to set it equal to a new team. Uh, and then right here, we'll just recycle it basically uh, to improve efficiency. Right here, we set these prefixes and all that. And we use this formatting method that just translate the color codes or translates the color codes. Then I modified what this says. So I made it actually bold. So I did and C and L. Awesome. And then um, I did a space. Uh, and then I put this and C. Just so there's a space between the awesome and, my, and uh, your name, you need to keep that in mind uh, when you work on uh, this system. 
And then when you have the suffix, also do the same thing except the space is at the very front. So we have the space and nine and then meow, and then that comes out as this. So it looks pretty decent. Uh, and then I made the, the thing bold and then why we, uh, we, we, whoops, not why. We reset the color code bold here just to be the red so the name is in bold and then the meow is just sitting on the end there. So pretty cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the series. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Make sure to leave your video suggestions down below. Um, and make sure to join the Discord channel uh, to talk with me and other fans and so on. Uh, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care.